I invite our children to come closer to the screen. All right, here we go. All right. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day and enjoyed some really fun time in the snow this past week. Well, this is our last week in which we're talking about prayer. We've been talking about prayer, I guess, for five, six weeks. I can't even remember. It's been most of uh, 2021. And today I want to share to you with you a way that you can pray that you don't need anything else but just your hand. So think about the fingers on your hand and your thumb. Your thumb is closest to you. So when you think about your thumb, you want to pray for those who are closest to you. So your mom, your dad, your siblings, grandparents, your closest friends. So take your thumb and pray for those who are closest to you. Now the next finger is your pointer finger. So we point around, right? And so with your pointer finger, you want to ask for God to lead you in the right way. For God to point you in the right direction. I'm going to put a couple fingers up here. All right. The middle finger is the tallest finger, right? So put up your middle finger with the other ones, and you want to pray for those who stand tall, right? Pray for our leaders. Pray for our president, our governor, our mayors, your teachers, your pastor, Sunday school teachers, anyone who is helping uh, guide the way for you. Now, the ring finger is the next finger. And you know what? You can't even like, actually put it up without the other ones. It's your weakest finger, I'm told. So when you put that finger up, you want to pray for those who need help the most. So people who are hungry, who are sick, maybe don't have a home to live in. That's what you pray for with your ring finger. And your last one is your smallest finger. So with that finger, you want to pray for yourself. Because we are humble, we talk about ourselves last, right? But we also remember to pray for our needs. Right? Can we remember that? Okay. So how about I'm going to hold up each finger and then I'm going to say a prayer for us. All right, let's pray. Dear God, we pray for those whom we love who live in our house, for our family, our closest friends. We ask you to watch over them. God, we pray that you might lead us in the right direction, point us where to go. God, we pray for our leaders, for the leaders of our country and our state and our town, and we pray for our teachers who teach us amazing things. God, we pray for those who need your help the most. Pray that those folks might have food to eat and a house to live in. God, lastly, we pray for ourselves that you might continue to love us and hold us tight and walk with us every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thank you, friends. I hope that every time you look at your hand, you might think of the wonderful ways God has loved you and cared for you and ways that you can reach out to God just with the things that you have right on you. Right? We'll see you next week, friends.